the back rooms. Enjoy your stay. Level 5.3, Prometheae Bibliotheca, back door, back rooms number one chat and form, archived at date 2016-05-30, time 16-24-56, user at kataya576 created the room, user at kataya576 entered the room, user at someone in the room entered the room, Someone in the room. Wait, let me add Anthony here. Kataya576. Yeah, go ahead. User at Vorkos entered the room. Vorkos. Hey, Kataya. Kataya576. Hello, Anthony. Vorkos. I told you not to use my name on back doors. Shy emoticon. Kataya576. Come on, don't worry. Someone is a friend. Vorkos. Whatever. Vorkos. So, why did you guys need to talk to me? Vorkos. Sorry, sorry if I seem rushed. I'm working on the new Hermes settlement in the Terror Hotel. Meh, emoticon. Someone in the room. Whoop, it's actually about level 5. Kataya576. We found something big. Literally. There's a huge library on the 7th floor. Vorkos. Vorkos. You have my complete attention. Kataya 576. Told you, Lamau. Kataya 576. So, you see, Antony and I were doing our usual patrol near housekeeping when suddenly we discovered an unexplored section of the corridors. Kataya 576. Actually, Antony can explain this part better since he was the first to see it. I joined him after he contacted me. Someone in the room. Alrighty. Someone in the room. So, the wallpaper was a little bit weird. It seemed more peeled and old, as opposed to the normally pristine wallpaper of the level. Vorkos. That's unusual, indeed. The hotel is usually in perfect condition. Maybe it was because the hallway hasn't been used in a long time? Have you seen any unusual signs of an older outpost there? Someone in the room. Hold on, I'm coming to it. Kataya 576 least nerdy Anthony moment. Vorkos. Blank expression emoticon. Someone in the room. Lamau. Someone in the room. Anyway, I followed the hallway and I saw a door at the end of it. A simple wooden door, but a very old one. Vorkos. Were there any inspections or patterns on it? Someone in the room. I'm coming to it. <laughs> Vorkos. Sorry. Meh emoticon. Quite hyped by this. Someone in the room. When I opened it, I faced an immense, and I mean really fucking immense, library. Much like how the Cygnus archive is depicted on the database. I'm not as good at history as you, but I think the architecture and patterns were from the Victorian era. Renaissance? Vorkos. Wait. Vorkos. That may actually mean a lot. Vorkos. And the books? Someone in the room. Most of them are in languages I can't read. But Kataya told me that you could help with this. Kataya 576. Also, this place reminded me of that particular group you hyperfixated on for a while. Vorkos. Yes, the Lost Hall Society. Vorkos. This is huge. If this turns out to be true, this is a huge discovery. Vorkos. Did you guys tell anyone about it? Kataya 576. Not yet. Meg officials are annoying AF with that kind of stuff. So we figured out you could help before we inevitably start a page for the database. Vorkos. Oh, I can totally help. That may actually come in handy for the Hermes team, especially since it's on floor 7. Kataya 576. Antony is going to go back to the place tomorrow, SMT. Footnote. Standard Meg time. End footnote. But I won't be able to help him. Vorkos. Got it. Vorkos. Okay, someone, prepare yourself for a 20-page draft about the Lost Hall Society. Coming into your DMs in about five minutes, Lamau. Someone in the room. Alrighty. Vorkos. That's probably going to be annoying, but you need to find some books about them in the library. Vorkos. Even if they are just written by them in another language, it's going to help a lot in understanding this place. Someone in the room. Got it. Thanks. Someone in the room. DW. 
I'm not traumatized by libraries yet. The cute face emoticon. Vorkos. Fantastic. Thanks a lot for telling me, guys. This place has a lot of potential for understanding the Terror Hotel. Hell, even the back room's better. I'll do my best to help you on this while I do some Hermes stuff. Kataya 576 Perfect. Have a nice day. Someone in the room. Have a nice day, Vorkos. Vorkos. You too, guys. Excited face emoticon. End of archived chat log. Generalities. Image caption. Photograph of an alley of the Promethean Library. Level 5.3 better known as Prometheae Bibliotheca, or the Promethean Library, is a sublevel of the Terror Hotel that was discovered by random chance in May of 2016. It takes the form of an elegant library, with hundreds of corridors stretching on all sides. The walls are comprised of marble, with some granite features, while the pillars are made of an unknown kind of tough stone. The iron bars near the side of the corridor, connecting to a void, are made of metal, reminiscent of the one present on the iron bars of level 3. Footnote, same goes for the chandeliers. Several paintings in the Renaissance style can be seen above the bookshelves, depicting unknown events that may or may not be a part of the lost history or mythology. Footnote, see Lost Hall Society below. End footnote. Whilst the sublevel showcases a set of infinitely long corridors, it has only seven floors, each accessible by a wooden staircase. The mentions of the name Prometheae Bibliotheca can be found at the top of some of the walls, hence the denomination of this sublevel. Each floor contains an enormous amount of books, seemingly assorted randomly. Their cover can be of any color and size but doesn't seem to portray many illustrations outside of some rare gilded illuminants or titles. Surprisingly, they do not seem to have aged, retaining their pristine condition, despite being covered in dust. Even if most of them are written in unknown languages, footnote, some of them being confirmed to be derivatives from some of the lost languages, and footnote, others use front rooms languages, such as English, French, or Italian. The book's topics are as random as they can be, ranging from what seems to be fiction, footnote, seemingly in the form of autobiographies, and footnote, to encyclopedias about topics like arts and manual labor. The knowledge present there is mainly about the back rooms, with places like Hofstad, note, see level 51, being mentioned, as well as creatures of high importance, such as ambassadors or the Machina. While cryptic languages often stop wanderers from getting deeper into a lot of these topics, the readable books remain a very promising way to learn about the back rooms as a whole. Backdoor, back rooms number one chat and form, archived at 2016-05-30, time 124537. User, at Kataya576, created the room. User at Kataya576 entered the room. User at someone in the room entered the room. Someone in the room. Mm-hmm. Kataya576. Hey! Someone in the room. What's the matter? Kataya576. Just wanted to know how the mission was going. Kataya576. Did you manage to find information about the Lost Hall thing? Someone in the room. The Lost Hall what? Kataya 576. Antony, seriously. Someone in the room. Kataya, I have legit no idea what you are talking about. Kataya 576. Antony, what the fuck? Antony asks you to find books about the Lost Hall Society. Kataya 576. Don't tell me you forgot why you came back to the library. Blank expression emoticon. Someone in the room. Kataya, I'm sorry, but I don't remember your friend asking me anything about the sublevel. Kataya 576. Are you fucking Kataya 576. Blank expression emoticon. Kataya 576. Antony, are you not okay? Like, genuinely asking. Someone in the room. Actually, not really. My head hurts. Someone in the room. Like, in a weird way. Someone in the room. 
Why did you say I had to come back here already? Kataya 576. Okay, now that's concerning. Kataya 576. Do you feel anything weird happening in the library? Someone in the room. Well, huh. Someone in the room. I don't really know. I feel something weird for sure, but I can't really describe it. Kataya 576. Is it tied to your headache thing? Someone in the room. I don't know, but the headache started and intensified here. Someone in the room. Wait, what's this? Kataya 576. Question mark? Someone in the room. Oh fuck. Kataya 576. Antony, what's going on? Someone in the room. Oh fuck. Someone in the room. I remember now. Kataya 576. What? Kataya 576. Are you okay? Someone in the room. I just found a little notebook on the shelves. Someone in the room. There's 20 pages. Someone in the room. Talks about the Lost Hall Society. Kataya 576. Oh, that's good news actually. Someone in the room. No, it's not Kataya. Someone in the room. They are exactly what Antony explained to me in the DMs yesterday. Kataya 576. What do you mean? Someone in the room. They are my memories, Kataya. End of archived chat log. Memory effects. Image caption. Several books seemingly containing the memories of a single person. A core phenomenon of the Promethean Library is its link to human consciousness. In fact, it seems as though the sublevel is capable of stealing memories from visitors. This effect only manifests itself once an individual remains in the library for a long enough period of time. This time seems to be fairly short, at around one to two hours. Past this delay, the sublevel will start to, seemingly consciously, see behavior section below, extract memories from the wanderer's mind. This process can take a varying amount of time and seems to target newer memories or quote unquote important ones. Footnote, although the notion of importance isn't completely understood, it confirms the consciousness of the sublevel. And footnote, as the wanderer starts losing their memories, they will start to experience headaches, gradually increasing in intensity. Unless they are aware of the property of the level, they will not notice their memory loss should they get external help. Faded memories will be co-signed to a book in the vast expanse of the Promethean Library. The form of the book may vary according to the amount of memories extracted and their nature, ranging from a simple notebook to even a series of books. Since the way those books are ordered is not currently understood, finding the host of these lost memories may not be feasible. As such, it is highly advised not to remain in the Promethean Library for more than an hour. Back door. Back rooms number one chat and form. Archived at date 2016-05-31. Time 15-30-06. User at Kataya 576 created the room. User at Kataya 576 entered the room. User at Vorkos entered the room. Vorkos. Hey Kataya, why are you contacting me today? Kataya 576. Hey Anthony. Kataya 576. It's about Antony and the Terror Hotel sublevel we discovered. Vorkos. Oh yeah, right. Vorkos. Has someone discovered anything about the Lost Hall Society? Vorkos. I have a billion theories about this floating in my head at the moment, Lamau. Kataya 576. Yeah, so about that. Kataya 576. Let me write everything first, please. Kataya 576. So, Antonin went back to the library, and, as you requested, he tried to find documents about the Lost Hall Society. Kataya 576. But as time passed in the sublevel, he said he started to feel headaches. Kataya 576. Then, when I contacted him while he was still in the library, he told me he forgot what you asked him to do, and all of the stuff you explained to him about the group thing. Kataya 576 And when we talked about this in messages, he found a small notebook on the shelves. Kataya And it turned out to be Antonin's memories about the Lost Hall Society you told him about in DM yesterday. 
Kataya576. I'm done, so you can talk now, by the way. Vorkos. Hold on. Vorkos. So the sublevel steals memories and translates them into the books within itself. Kataya576. That's what it seems to do, yeah. Vorkos. OMG, that's huge! Vorkos. Did someone find more stuff about the Lost Hall Society? Kataya576. Nah, I immediately asked him to come back. Kataya576. I don't want Antony to lose all of his memories. We still don't know if this place is sentient and how it selects memories. Vorkos. Yeah, that's fair. Vorkos. Mm hmm. Vorkos. I'll visit the library tomorrow. Vorkos. Can housekeeping welcome me for the night? The Hermes team has great relations with them. Kataya576. Anthony, what the fuck? Vorkos. Come on, Kataya. That's an incredible opportunity for a historian like me. Kataya576. No, but like. Kataya576. Anthony! Kataya576. You never leave the Hermes base, ever! Kataya576. You have no experience of the backroom's dangers. Kataya576. You've been scared to go on a mission for ages. Kataya576. And now you want to explore a sublevel we barely know anything about with the ability to quite literally steal your memories. Vorkos. Okay, I mean, I know I'm not the bravest nor the most knowledgeable about weapons and monsters and stuff. Vorkos. But here's my chance to learn something about this place. Vorkos. I'm a historian, Kataya. I can't let this opportunity slide. Vorkos. Don't get me wrong, I'm very fucking scared, obviously. That would be my first quote-unquote mission, and yeah, I'm not really a great Hermes member when it comes down to, well, Hermes exploration stuff. Vorkos. But I would feel so bad if I missed the opportunity. Vorkos. And you guys saw no entities, right? So if you help me go from level 2 to housekeeping, I should be fine. Kataya576. God damn it. Kataya576. Okay, fine, but I'm coming with you. Kataya576. I'm not losing you to this place because of your own incompetence. Vorkos. Ouch. Kataya576. I mean, Anthony, have you ever been to the Terror Hotel? Vorkos. No, but I'm working on the new Hermes base there, so I learned some stuff about it. Kataya576. Theory can only take you so far. Kataya576. Whatever, I'll take the day off tomorrow and take you from Hermes-2 to housekeeping. Kataya576. This better be worth it. Vorkos. Thank you so much, Kataya. Vorkos. That's a huge relief, not gonna lie. Kataya576. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll tell my superior about you coming. End of archived chat log. The Lost Hall Society. Image caption. Photograph of an older alley, hosting many books from the Lost Hall Society. The Promethean Library was instrumental in the discovery of information regarding an ancient yet poorly known group named the Lost Hall Society. As it turns out, the group, while having played a role of high importance in the level, has left researchers with little to no written traces. It is unknown whether the Lost Hall Society created this sublevel, or if they just discovered it and used it for their activities. However, thanks to some of the books retrieved and successfully translated, the goal of this group became clear. Centuries ago, the Lost Hall Society roamed not only the Terror Hotel, but also the entirety of the back rooms, in search of information about this place. They were a faction of peaceful collectors and historians, who used the unique property of this sublevel to directly co-sign the information they found in a very effective way. With time, they managed to, quote-unquote, write about the history of levels, the biology of entities, properties of objects, and phenomena, and even the geopolitical state of the former groups of interest. It is highly likely that not all books here are the works of the Lost Hall Society. Instead, it is highly likely that this place already featured books from other wanderers who stumbled upon this place by accident before the discovery of the sublevel by the Lost Hall Society. 
During some of the few interviews conducted with members of the originals, some of them stated that they already had ventured into this level once or twice, but never went back due to the anomalous headaches they were experiencing, not knowing what caused them in the first place. The Promethean Library was used by the Lost Hall Society until around the 17th century. Footnote, latest date from the recovered books of this group, and footnote, due to an unknown event that either extincted them or forced them to move to another unidentified location. The Promethean Library remained unchecked for centuries until its recent discovery by MEG members. Backdoor, back rooms number one chat and form, archived at date 2016-05-31, time 2010-58. User, at Kataya576 created the room. User at Kataya entered the room. User at Vorkos entered the room. User at Charlie Drake entered the room. Kataya576. Hey Charlie. Charlie Drake. Oh hey guys. Vorkos. Hey Charlie, guess what? Charlie Drake. Oh my god, Anthony. Did, what did you find this time, Lamau? Vorkos. Hey, how did you tell? Charlie Drake. You always act like that when you discover new history shit, lol. Vorkos. Okay, fair. Vorkos. You remember when I left Hermes base yesterday? Charlie Drake. Oh yeah, right. Kataya babysat you to that sublevel thing. Vorkos. Squidgetrizidzfidgeter. Vorkos. I wasn't scared. Angry face emoticon. Kataya576. Actually, he's right. Kataya576. I was surprised, but yeah, it seems like Anthony gets like 100% more confident when he can discover nerd things. Vorkos. Blank expression emoticon. Charlie Drake. OMG, Anthony. First real mission, yeah? Vorkos. Yeah, kinda. Vorkos. So basically, Kataya and her friend found a library in the Terror Hotel, near housekeeping. They immediately told me about it, and it turns out it has been used by the Lost Hall Society centuries ago. The library has a weird phenomenon, too, where you kinda have to give knowledge to. It takes memories from your mind, memories that can interest the library, where it then co-signs the books. Vorkos. This means that a huge quantity of those writings have been created by the Lost Hall Society through what we could call an alliance with the sublevel. Charlie Drake. Okay, that's already too much for me, Lamau. Charlie Drake. And there were no action? Darn, Kataya, you probably died of boredom or something. Kataya 576 Nah, it was fine. The hardest thing was to follow Anthony around the place. He was in his element. Kataya 576 Do you remember when he first saw the archive of the Hermes base? Oh, he was like twice as excited here, Lamau. Charlie Drake And your memories are fine? Kataya 576 Mine are fine, yeah. We remained in the library for like three hours, I think, but Anthony will explain this better than me. Vorkos. Okay, so, Vorkos. The Promethean Library, yeah, that's its name apparently, is basically conscious. Not at the human consciousness level, of course, but it has what we could see as a mind, and it loves learning stuff. You know how every human has a different set of knowledge? Well, everything interests the Promethean Library. It's an entity, quote-unquote, driven by the thirst for knowledge, like me, Vorkos. So you can kind of make packs with it, you know? It wants to learn new stuff, I want to learn old stuff. It has been unvisited for so long that it lost its grip with what now happens in the back rooms. Before we discovered it back, it didn't know about the Arlene Circle, the Meg, and other newer groups. Same with the new entities or levels we discovered way after the Lost Hall Society. And I want to learn the past. Vorkos. So we made kind of an agreement. I mean, I can't talk to the sublevel, obviously, but I let it pick the stuff it wanted within my mind, and then it shows me books I was looking for, so like a fair trade, you know? Charlie Drake. Huh. Vorkos. Yeah, Charlie, you're gonna need to give me another tour of the Hermes base once I come back. I can't even give you the location of my office, Lamau. Vorkos. But it was 100% worth it. My research about the Lost Hall Society became way easier. I learned so much about the hotel and its history. Vorkos. And it's not only nerdy stuff, as you call it. 
I may have gotten some information about, you know, Terror Hotel staff. Charlie Drake. Okay, now I'm interested. Vorkos. See? I can help the Hermes team and all. Vorkos. Don't even need to endanger myself on missions. Uh, face with tongue sticking out, Emojicon. Charlie Drake. My brother in Argos, you traded your own memories! Board face emoji. Kataya 576. Trust me, he's fine. Like, you know, I don't take security lightly. He was a bit lost at first, but it's fine. Charlie Drake. Gah! Charlie Drake. I'll have to tell Maximilian about this, you know. Vorkos. Lamau, go for it. Vorkos. Maybe now he will stop looking at me with this condescending look during reunions, now that I got practical information for helping with the new level 5 base. Charlie Drake. Fair. Charlie Drake. When will you come back? Kataya 576. He'll stay in housekeeping for the night. I'll give him back to you tomorrow. Vorkos. Hey, I'm not an object. Shy face emoticon. Kataya 576. Fair enough. Kataya 576. Congrats on the mission. I guess you're not as much of a coward as I thought. Vorkos. Thanks. Vorkos. I guess. Charlie Drake. I'll have to go now. Charlie Drake. Take care, you two. And don't go in this library thing again, okay? I want you to still be able to recognize me, cute face emoticon. Vorkos. I don't think I'm interested in you anyways, lol. Kataya 576. Good night. Vorkos. Yeah, see you tomorrow. End of archived chat log. Behavior. Image caption. Photograph of a book, quote unquote, given by the Promethean Library. Named Anamopsis, Volume 1, it was currently found in 2020, and is currently the property of the Arlane Circle. The Promethean Library seems to possess a form of consciousness. However, unlike places such as the Living Level, it's unknown whether what people call the Library Mind is an incarnation of the sublevel itself, or simply an omnipotent spirit controlling the place. Whatever its real nature is, its goal is clear, as the library mind appears to be obsessed with knowledge of any sort. However, it seems that the mind cannot escape the boundaries of the sublevel, and therefore cannot slake its thirst for knowledge. Therefore, for all of its existence, the library mind has used its omnipotence within the kingdom to extract the memories of the wanderers who dared enter its realm. Yet, the library mind seems to desire this knowledge to be shared with humanity, therefore not making said knowledge a selfish treasure. It seems that it values curiosity and thirst for comprehension above all, two characteristics it possesses. As such, the library mind offers any wanderers that stumbles into its domain the knowledge they seek, in exchange for a piece of their memory. This way, this consciousness can fulfill its purpose by collecting and distributing information from every point in time, while satiating the library mind's thirst for knowledge, especially modern knowledge, for it hasn't been visited in centuries, and therefore lacks understanding of the new setting of the back rooms. The way the library mind operates is deemed by the few people who visited it to be automatic and insidious. While wanderers looking for a particular book might not notice it, the library mind knows their need and takes its tribute to then give them the information they deeply seek. However, the library mind seems to possess some form of morality, refusing to fulfill the wishes of those who would use knowledge to harm or dominate others. Headaches and heavy memory losses await those who don't value knowledge or the love of discovery, as the library mind wants to enlighten humans and itself alike not allowing any form of information abuse. The sublevel also prevents most wanderers from reaching knowledge that it deems too valuable. Footnote, as it loses information in books that exist in the Promethean Library when they leave the sublevel, end footnote, or information that humans aren't ready for. According to the member of the Arlene Circle, Anthony Kelvin, while the library mind is not capable of speaking or projecting words to the wanderer that visits the sublevel, it can, quote, talk through emotions, end quote, inducing feelings in a wanderer based on what the library mind wants to convey to them. For example, if one is aware of the consciousness inhabiting the sublevel, they will be able to feel when it notices them. A person can also feel other sentiments from the library mind such as satisfaction or anger. 
depending on the goal that made the wanderer venture into the Promethean Library. It can also manifest more complex thoughts with this method. For example, when it tries to justify the reason why it does not want to give a particular book to the wanderer. In specific cases, the library mind also uses its physical environment to guide people in the immense realm. This can go from making some books fall to gather the wanderer's attention to provoking the collapse of entire bookshelves in a way to express its anger more directly. Still, according to the same contributor, it is possible to go beyond a simple one-time exchange of information to create some form of agreement that goes beyond a simple visit. Because of its isolation, the library mind currently lacks several bits of information regarding new groups, backrooms areas, and entities. A person seeking knowledge pertaining to the past can obtain more trust if they are willing to show the library mind how the backrooms changed since then. It is thanks to such agreements that the Hermes team of the Arlene Circle, and therefore the Meg, got access to valuable information, not only about the Lost Hall Society, but also about the Terror Hotel. Oddly enough, the library mind seems to show animosity towards the Terror Hotel staff. While the reason is not fully known, it is heavily implied by some documents found there that said stuff was the cause of the isolation of the sublevel. While the goals of the Beast of Level 5 remain very cryptic, perhaps irredeemably so, the theory about the sublevel isolation seems to indicate that this being is actively trying to protect the secrets and information about the Terror Hotel from the human communities of the level. As said earlier, the sublevel has shared knowledge about the Terror Hotel staff, but it is unknown whether the latter will react to this information being shared or not. Entrances and Exits Entrances The only known entrance to the Promethean Library is a newly discovered corridor near the Meg Base housekeeping on level 5. However, due to the non-Euclidean nature of this level, the entrance may not be reliable, given how the base existed for a long time without the entrance being noticed. Exits there is a chance that a corridor will lead to a dead end with a wooden door on the wall. Using it will take the wanderer back to the entrance of the Promethean Library. As the gentleman was visiting his realm as usual, he noticed a small wooden door at the end of the hallway he was walking in. Memories of a time gone by flowed in his mind. Not this place again. He opened the door. Before his eyes was the same library he had hoped never to see again. He stepped in it and glanced at the seemingly infinite hallway of bookshelves. It was really as disgusting as the day he lost it. He sighed. His attention was taken by a small notebook falling from the nearest shelf onto his feet. He picked it up and quickly watched its content. He recognized plenty of sketches of some of his staff members with small notes about them. He launched the book behind him across the corridor without a look. It has been a long time. He stated to the location itself, I would be delighted to see you again if I didn't know what was the reason for your reapparition. I see what you are trying to do here. This disrespectful yet brave behavior will never fail to amaze me. Now we both know what you are trying here won't work, just like last time. The silence of the place was the only answer he received. You aren't welcome here and never will be, but please try your best. It will be quite entertaining to crush your hopes for mankind once more, he concluded. The gentleman turned around and left the Promethean Library with the same neutral expression he always portrayed. Except this time, it hid his annoyance towards the library. This wasn't supposed to happen again. Once more, this pesky little library was going to ruin the whole place. Knowledge always ruins humanity here. First, they start to get too brave. Then, they think they know what's better for them. They think they know better than him, the gentleman. Having his residents choose what was good for them was out of the question. The staff knew how to make them have a nice stay. Forever. And this stupid, optimistic library was going to ruin everything again. But the staff wasn't going to let that happen.